Well, according to the Transport Workers Union, around 330 people have died on our roads in accidents involving a truck in the past year. 40 of those were truck drivers. Well, today, family members of some of the victims and truck drivers themselves gathered outside the West Farmers AGM to, um, to send a message to supermarket giant Coles. Tony Sheldon is the National Secretary of the Transport Workers Union. He joins us now on Afternoon. Uh, what was today all about, Tony? Oh, good afternoon, Gillian. Uh, today's about saying to the West Farmers Board that there is a fundamental responsibility about the deaths that are occurring on our road because of the economic pressure that Coles is applying to its transport operators. That you know, We've got surveys now where 46% of drivers are saying that they've been forced to skip brakes. Um, 40% are saying they're not being able to maintain their vehicles. We've got a, a drivers that are saying that uh, over a quarter are saying they're having to speed. And again, over a quarter are saying they have to carry illegal loads all to meet the economic demands and the time demands of Coles. And when you, when you say have to, well, why can't they, they just say no? Well, if they say no, what happens is they don't have a good job. They, they, the transport company they work for as an employee loses the contract because it's all based on cost. It's based on sweating the truck and sweating the driver. And if you're an owner-operator, um, trying to maintain your vehicle uh, is, comes at a cost. And if you're not reimbursed for those costs in a fair manner, then you don't maintain the vehicle and people sweat the trucks. And unfortunately, we've got uh, over 20 years of, of uh, academic uh, independent inquiries from government uh, and different governments from around the country and coroner's reports that clearly state that this sort of pressure that's applied is literally killing people on our roads. And you, um, you, you have uh, spoken, I understand, uh, Coles Managing Director Ian McLeod spoke outside uh, the AGM a short time ago. Uh, I'll just, um, we'll just hear a little bit of what he had to say. The way that it works is that we don't actually employ uh, drivers ourselves. We contract through very responsible uh, transport companies like Lynn Fox and Toll. And they've got great safety records themselves and act extremely responsibly. We've been dealing with those individual companies for years. And the one thing about Coles is we only actually account for less than 1% of the total number of uh, freight movements on the road anyway. So we're actually a very small percentage of, of total haulage movements across the country. But I think if you look at the statistics, you'll find that over the last 10 years, freight movements across the country have increased by, by around about a third, maybe over a third. And actually the number of fatalities has actually halved. So that the, the, the record of, uh, of safety in road haulage across the trail is actually improving, uh, not reducing over, over the last 10 years. So I don't accept the fact that we might be responsible for fatalities on the road. Now. And that was the Coles Managing Director, Ian McLeod, speaking outside the West Farmers AGM earlier today. We're speaking on 7.20 uh, ABC Local Radio to Tony Sheldon. He's the National Secretary of the Transport Workers Union. They have been protesting this afternoon outside uh, the AGM um, about uh, fatali truck driver fatalities, particularly um, with the pressure that uh, you believe Coles is putting on your workers, Tony. And uh, yes. we, I mean, we've heard we've heard from uh, Ian McLeod. He, he clearly sees the situation as improving. Well, uh, this is the most notorious thing that um, that Coles had to say because, in actual fact, the injury rates have gone through the roof. The death rates, in particularly in Western Australia, have, um, uh, and uh, injury rates have uh, greatly um, deteriorated. And um, he does engage through his supply chain many thousands of owner operators and uh, employee drivers. And he engages more than two companies; he engages hundreds of companies in his supply chain. Um, and you know, Mr. McLeod knows that. And what's particularly frustrating is that whilst the rest of the industry um, is engaging in trying to work out how they safely and efficiently, productively, and without exploitation, deal with their supply chains. But when it comes to coals, it is not our responsibility, even though we drive through our economics, our low costs, our driving the costs down, sweating the trucks and sweating the drivers. And it's, you know, if, if it was, uh, I'd suggest to, um, to coals, uh, uh, executive that they should read one of the dozens of reports that make it very clear that their behaviour is literally putting people uh, on the road in unsafe practices and literally killing people. So you're clearly not happy with the response that you've got today, Tony? Well, it's exceedingly frustrating because um, you know, well, we um, every day deal with um, people that are under pressure and unfortunately each week uh, are dealing with people who have lost their lives or families that have lost, lost loved ones. 
uh, because of those pressures from companies, in particular Coles, which is most seen as the most notorious across the industry, um, on applying those pressures. And to see them again deny, with even though they're receiving healthy profits, they have the biggest margins in the retail industry in the world, they have the capacity to turn around and make our roads safer rather than driving it literally into the ground. So where to now? Well, we're going to keep um, highlighting the, the fact they do have a responsibility and the West Farmers Group have a responsibility to carry um, to make uh, Coles accountable um, for its operations. And, you know, widows, um, court, uh, reports from government, truck drivers... Um, are going to continue to speak out. We won't go away because we actually see people losing their lives because of this behaviour. And no amount of denial will uh, take away from the facts that are readily available, very much um, aware of, uh, the polls are aware of, um, that uh, they are driving this behaviour uh, through their economic modelling. And, you know, I, I just, uh, you know, I'm just about to ask a question shortly of um, the Coles board um, and um, uh, the West Farmers board because... They've just announced how they've signed a an arrangement regarding what happens after that terrific fire in Bangladesh where a 1,000 people lost their lives, mainly men and mainly women and children, uh, in those clothing factories uh, that were producing clothes for coals and other divisions. The one division that's refusing to sign an international standards that others within coals, uh, within West Farmers have signed and their major competitor Woolworths have signed and, competitor, and other operators around the world is coals. Coles are saying that those Bangladeshi um, garment workers should be treated less than other, their other competitors are treating them. And you know, this, this, is, um, this is unfortunately um, the attitude that um, Coles had, uh, have taken. Profit at any cost, um, the biggest margins in the world, and to hell what the consequences are. Well, Tony, I appreciate your time with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Julian. Tony Sheldon, the National Secretary of the Transport uh, Workers Union, uh, speaking from out outside West Farmers AGM today. And we also heard from Coles Managing Director Ian McLeod.